All right, guys, we got a 1956 Pontiac Chieftain sitting here. And of course, this one here has the, the V8 motor under the hood. Also got power steering. So we got a lot of room under the hood here. The old filter down there in the bottom. Looks like a generator. White walls, two-tone, black and white, the white interior. Wait, two-tone interior, check it. Looks pretty good. A lot of extra chrome. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to be picking out the flaws. Whatever we find in the video is how the car is going to be when you show up. I just want you to know everything about it. You can look at the 100 detailed pictures on our website. You can go and check out our finance options. And I can also ship this to your front door. For now, just hit subscribe. Share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, before we leave, we'll look around the interior. This is a giant steering wheel, but does the horn work? Be trying it out. You can also see the mileage showing 72,511. The dash is kind of cool. I like the dash in this one. The seat, nice and clean. Package tray also. And your headliner in this one. Got a lot of good, good stuff going on here. Let's start it up. Try some stuff out, such as the wipers. Yep, they work. Gotta play that game where you cut them off. What do we got here? This is how you turn the blower motor on. I feel like I hear it buzzing, but it ain't. You know, blower motor's not working. Face to the radio's in the office. Okay, it's pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and try the horn. Are you ready? Hey, horn does work. All right, guys, let's hit the road and see what else we can find. Here we go. Get ready to take off down the road. Got a little bit of a power steering wine. All right. Here's our drive. And we're going to go to the gas station because we are low on fuel. We've got about a quarter tank. a lifted Porsche. It was, is it called a Cayenne? Like an SUV? It was lifted. I've never seen one lifted. Huh. Okay. Come on, guy. Let's roll. Here we are. Pull it on out here. This one here is slow to shift. As we're going down the road, seems like it's going pretty straight. Not pulling left or right. Oh, a little bit of a left pull there now. Head down the road. Yeah, a little bit of a left pull there. A little slack in the steering. Getting in the throttle. but it's just slow to shift getting in our brakes brakes are not too bad no speedometer it's not working temperature gauge did come up it looks like it's working oil pressure's up gas gauge is up battery gauge is up Of course, without a speedometer, the odometer does not work, so it's not changing any mileage. Turn signals are popping up nice and bright on the dash there. We'll pull in here and get a little bit of fuel. Deal. We're gonna go ahead and 
and get about twenty dollars of premium fuel, and I'll be back. Okay, the gas cap in this one's a little bit further down, but you can get to it right there on the side. Twenty dollars, five gallons. We're good. We'll check the gauge. Pretty sure it works. It was at a quarter tank. Well, right below it. And now it's at a half a tank. Trying to keep get a little gas. And we're ready to go. Okay, so yeah, the only thing different about this car here, it's a little bit getting used to. Not really a park, it's a neutral and a brake. So you put her in neutral, which is right here, and then it's out, I believe, and you pull in and it drops into drive there. So we're in overdrive here, I believe, because there's two drives, and then there's a low and a reverse, and the reverse does work. Here, I'll try, I'll show you. And there's low and there's reverse low drive and then overdrive and then neutrals all the way up and there's drive and it's right on the mark too I mean it's just like perfect this one is shifting a little bit funny though it's just shifting slow. I mean, it's already in third or fourth gear right now, but. The power steering's winding because I seen the fluid leaked out. See, there's a little slip there by the transmission. So we got a fluid leak on our power steering that I seen. And I'm gonna see if we can fix that when we get back to the lot. Tranny's not acting exactly right. It is shifting through all the gears. I 
and the oil coming out of the power steering pump is dripping down on the exhaust and it's smoking a little bit. I can smell it and I just seen it. Try to go slower as this guy riding his brakes down the hill. Motorcycle. Old Suzuki RM125. Actually had a few of those. Suspension test here. A little stiff in the back. Not bad, but it definitely uh, a little bit more of an impact than the front. Alright guys, we're getting ready to pull back in the lot. Uh, from what I see on this video, transmission issues, see that? Jumping around, little seal on the power steering pump, which I'm going to look at now. That would probably be an easy fix. Looks like it was coming out of the cap and dripping onto the valve cover and dripping down into the exhaust. But, I'm here to pick out the flaws, that's what I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, got the hood up, got the trunk open. We're gonna walk this ride and look for flaws. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures on maplemotors.com, going over some flaws as well. And hey, let's start in the back here. Got the little skirts there for the fenders. Be careful with them, but I wanna look up under here. It's pretty solid there trunk is nice on this one too got the shop manual there fire extinguisher jack your jams <clears throat> A lot of chips on the edge there. Sorry. <clears throat> I finally just got over that uh, whatever I had. Cold. I don't know what it was. Not that that matters. But I do feel better. <laughs> Coming on down with this. A little hazy. I think this could use some polishing. I rub one spot for a second. Give her a good polish out. Look at that. Yeah, this one's going to look good with the wax. You can see how hazy it is on the back. Tell you what. If I got to push it, I'm going to shut it a little bit harder. There it is. A little firm shut on that one, but it lines up well. The only thing I might adjust is the latch. Probably start with a little grease. Little spot here. Pretty good. Rear bumper on this one, not bad. I got a magnet tag that I run on all the cars with an air tag because <laughs> you wouldn't believe the amount of tags we've lost or that I've gotten stolen. Just air tags won't matter then, they just throw them. Little spot there, it's been touched up. I think this is interesting the way they designed that different it looks pretty good right down the side here some leaves it's about that time all the trees are gonna shed 
Cover the pool up. Oh, goodness. Little chips here. In the corners. Little chips up here in the front. Scuff right there. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Chip here. Seal looks good around that window. But you got some damage up here. This piece will open and shut as you open the door. Basically the same as the old 56 Chevrolet's. But this one here, it's been bent up a little bit. It's kind of working. Yeah. crack there the roof looks wonderful nicely clean y'all know my favorite color was white it is what's this chip there this thing looks really clean and even when it's dirty it looks clean not this car's clean don't worry guys <laughs> look at the front end on this heck yeah a lot of chrome. I mean, you almost eat lunch right here. <laughs> a lot of pitting down here in the bottom, though. A little water set up. Age set in. bottom of the door some little ripples there oh, water runs uh, I don't know what this is but some cracking in the paint a little bit here and up top there Definitely the worst spot on the car the way it's got that little ripple in the tank. <clears throat> Edge of the door here, chips, 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 no fish. Just chips. <laughs> spot there, little paint there. rust spots popping up on the old antenna but doesn't have an antenna down in there front seal on the window looks good we trim right here around your vent window the seal looks good but the trim is pitting a little gap there too little ding here spot up here Wait, that's made into it. Let's see if this one works. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one works perfect. I like that. Look at this roof. Guys, we're going to go ahead and open her up, check out the interior. 
Then we'll head on back to the lot. Check out this interior. Door panel's clean. Kenwoods. Looks decent under the door there. Carpet looks good. New jams. Get a little spot down here. Your seat. Kenwoods Headliner in this one's looks new and it's got the stars Love that Cosmetically this car is in pretty good shape it has a couple chips not bad for the age. You got the stars in the visor. Turn this on. Okay, so this switch here, I believe, was the uh, fuel pump. And that light cuts on when you're using it. Give me a little gas here. Thing's loading up. Yeah, just hold her to the floor. She had a little excess gas in the carburetor there. a little oil coming out right here on the power steering. This thing is whining now. It was whining earlier. Yeah, a little power steering oil. Might have a bad seal in here. Yeah, it's dripping out of this on top of the valve cover too. Oh, there's a little bit on the exhaust. I seen a little bit of smoke puffing out earlier. I kind of wondered if it was leaking oil, but it's the power steering Dripping down this hose, dripping down the valve cover, dripping onto the exhaust. So I guess we need to see if we can get a seal for this and get that buttoned up so it ain't dripping like that anymore. That or maybe it just needs to be tightened. But I'm going to wait till I get back to the lot, take it apart. Hang on guys, I'm gonna use both hands to put this hood down. Did you see how I rocked it? That keeps it from bending or hurting anything. It's stiff up top and you're just yanking down on it. All that pressure is gonna go right to the metal and bend it and mess up your hood. Just give it a little rock, be easy. Funny, my wife said that looks like an airplane. <laughs> Got him. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's detailed pictures. There's financing. There's shipping. All that's available on our website, MapleMotors.com. And I do this every day, so please hit subscribe and share this video. That's going to help me out more than anything. I say that in every video because it's true. I'm sure you hear it from other YouTubers as well. And all this stuff going on overseas is scary. That's definitely not. Uh, something that I was expecting to hear. I've been praying for them. 
and I just hope it all gets settled pretty quickly. I don't really know what to say about it other than it's sad. Everything that's going on, it's sad. But guys, thanks for watching. You see that little bit of smoke coming out? That's your power steering down on your exhaust. Burn it off. Let me see if I can figure that out. I'll see you later.